Now to decision 2022. Idaho's first ever post-election audit is finished. On Friday, the Secretary of State's office completed its audit of eight randomly selected counties. Our Katya Stepovic caught up with an election official and has the latest on how the process went and the lessons learned from it, Katya. Well, Doug, the Chief Deputy Secretary of State says Idaho's first ever audit process was, well, a success and goes to reinforce the great job done by county clerks at putting on elections. After three full days of auditing eight different counties in Idaho. Overall, great series of, of eight counties. Chad Houck, Chief Deputy Secretary of State, says the results from the audit were promising. The ballots that were counted in Idaho in the 2022 primary are the ballots that were cast by the people of Idaho. Uh, the inventories match, the canvas numbers match, the count numbers match. Save for one ballot out of the 20,000 that we requested, we were able to put our hands on those specific ballots from those specific precincts cast by what, whatever specific mechanism we were asking for. The team audited Ada, Idaho, and Payette counties on day one, then Jerome, Bonneville counties the next day, and wrapped up on day three by auditing Bannock, Kootenai, and Madison counties. We had originally set up to have a 0.5% margin of error threshold. There wasn't a single county that was even remotely close to that. Bonneville and Ada County saw perfect runs. Houck says there were variations in some other counties. 19 in Kootenai, about six or seven that were then all found from sorting errors in Bannock, and then Madison with about another four or five that were all found by sorting errors as well. So. Uh, really successful day all together. At the end of the multi-day process, when auditors came up with the numbers that didn't match a certain precinct's count, they were ultimately able to attribute all but one of them to a procedural error, something they hope to learn from for the general election. Adding some information to the inventory cards. Uh, you know, one of the great things that we saw in one of the counties that we were in was as soon as we pulled a box off the shelf, we knew because it was labeled as simple as box one of two, we knew that we had another box, even if it was just a couple more ballots for that county so that we didn't erroneously leave one on the shelf. Having these procedures and knowing that all the ballots are correctly segregated and, and separated and, and sorted out to where when you get into one of those races, you can actually make it easy to do that recount. Those are the kind of things we're hoping to increase. Now they plan on taking the data they collected back to Boise State to look at the margin of error and some of the statistic components so they can really study their model and adjust procedures out in the field before the general election. And Katya, as you know, this is all about election transparency, mm -hmm. transparency and integrity. So who is actually on the team of auditors? Well, that's a great question. The team of auditors made up of staffers from the Secretary of State's office, along with state trained representatives from both Democratic and Republican parties who went through training for this very type of audit process. So they're well versed in all of this. So bipartisan as well as having the officials yep. on board. OK, Katya, thank you very much.